Hey, Matthew Doyle here for Scaleform with another great tutorial for you guys. As promised, welcome to video 6 of the UDK Scaleform Workflow Tutorial Series, Creating Menus. This is the menu we'll be using. This menu can be found in your UDK installation. Just go to Development, Flash, Click, then Tutorial. The file we'll be using is called Click Tutorial Skinned. This basic menu is entirely built using our component framework, Click. The menu has two screens, Main Menu and Options. For now, let's go ahead and import this menu into UDK. If you haven't already figured out how to do that, it's pretty simple to do, really. Okay, so here I've got UDK pulled up. The first thing we need is a simple empty room with a player spawn point in it. I've put together a room here already. If you wanted to do something cool as your menu screen with a nice 3D level, you could do that. But for this tutorial, we'll just use an empty room. Save the level as SF Menu Demo. All right, open the content browser and click the Import button. Browse to the location of Click Tutorial Skinned under Development, Flash, Click Tutorial and select the Swift file. Normally, you'd make sure to set the file up so that it uses external textures. If you don't know about that, be sure to check out the previous UDK videos. In this case, we'll just go ahead and let Unreal use the textures in the Swift file as they are. I'll call this package My Scale Form Menu. Now be sure to save the package. Now we need to do a little kismet work, so go ahead and open it up. First, we'll add a level loaded event. Next, we'll tell Unreal to open the menu using the GFX UI action Open GFX Movie. Wire the level loaded invisible output to the Open GFX Movie. Now, add a new player variable and uncheck all players in its properties. Wire player owner in OpenGFX movie to the player variable. Okay, so now let's add the Swift to OpenGFX movie. First, we need to be sure the Swift we imported is already selected in the content browser. If it's selected, it should be highlighted by a yellow box. Now select OpenGFX movie in Kismet and click the green arrow next to movie to insert the Swift's path. We'll want to enable Capture Input, then scroll down and enable Take Focus. The Movie Player class dropdown defaults to GFX Movie Player, but we're going to create our own class here in a minute. When we do, we'll end up changing that class here. For now, let's wrap up the rest of our Kismet. So add a new player spawned event. Now we can add a new cinematic mode toggle action. Uncheck disable input and disable movement. And wire the player spawns out to enabled on the toggle. Last of all, wire the toggle's target to the player variable. All right, one last thing before moving on. Open the world properties for the level under view and scroll down to world info and open it up. Find the entry for no default inventory for player and enable it. Okay, now we can save the level. Now this menu would work if we went ahead and tested the level using play and editor, but we want to set up some unreal script that tells the menu to do a few things. Specifically, we'll tell the main menu title to display the ubiquitous phrase hello world. And I'll create a start button and tell Unreal to load the map DM deck when it's pressed. So I'll create a new Unreal script file here. And the first thing to do is to declare our new class and let Unreal know that it extends GFX Movie Player. We'll call this class SF Menu Tutorial. Next, let's declare two variables. The first one is our start button. We'll typecast it as a GFX click widget because we're going to be using a click button component to create it in Flash. The second one will hold our main menu title. 
As this is a standard flash text field, we'll go ahead and typecast it as a GFX object. Okay, let's create our first and possibly most important function, start. Start is the first function that GFX calls. In it, the first thing we'll do is call the start function of the parent class, GFX Movie Player, using super.start. Next, we'll tell the menu Swift to begin playing from frame 0 with advance 0. Advance is a core GFX function. We'll go ahead and tell the main menu text field what we want it to display in this function. So, first, we need to assign the text field to the main menu title variable. We do this by using get variable object. Use the fully qualified path to the text field. In this case, it lives at the root of the timeline and has an instance name of text field. Now we can set the text to hello world using the property set text on main menu title. We'll close this function out now. The next function is called by GFX any time a click widget is initialized. It expects three parameters. The first parameter gets the instance name of the widget and stores it in, you guessed it, widget name. The second parameter stores the path to the widget in widget path. And the last parameter, widget, is a reference to the GFX object. So what we want to do is set up the start button widget when it gets initialized. Let's create a switch statement to do that. The switch statement will test the widget name parameter, which holds the instance name of the widget. In the case of start button, we set the variable start button equal to the GFX click widget widget, widget being a reference to the start button. Now once we've done that, we can add an event listener to the button. The event listener will listen for a click press event, which is equivalent to a mouse click or keyboard enter. If the event occurs, we want Unreal to execute the function on start button press. We'll close out the switch statement and then close out this function. Now we'll need to add the actual on start button press function. This function will need to receive the event listener's data. So we'll set the parameter to GFX click widget dot event data EV. This function simply fires off the console command to open DM deck. In order for the console command to work, we need to actually add the function. Last of all, we'll bind the start button widget to the GFX click widget class in the default properties. This is the preferred method of typecasting a GFX click widget. Widget name is of course the instance name for the widget. All right, save this new class under development source UT game or the name of your game and in classes. Be sure the file name matches the class name. If UDK is open, we need to shut it down, rerun it, and of course, rebuild scripts when asked. So we'll need to add our start button now in Flash. This is gonna be really easy. First, just select the options button on the stage. Now hold down Control and Shift and drag it up to the empty slot to make a copy. If you didn't hold down Shift, you can always use the arrow keys to line it up afterwards. Set the instance name of this button to Start Button. If you remember, that's the instance name we listen for in the switch statement of our widget initialized function. One more thing, open the component inspector and set the label for this button to start. Then publish the movie. So, back in the UDK editor, we'll need to re-import the Swift file to get our latest edit the start button. Now we can open Kismet again, select the open GFX movie node, and set the movie player drop down to our new class SF menu tutorial. Okay, now we can save our level. If you want this menu to be loaded when you run the game, you'll need to specify that in the default engine.ini file. So open it up, find the lines at the top, map and local map, and change those lines to point to the name of the menu level. In this case, SF menu demo. Okay, so we save that, and now let's test everything out by actually running the game. So here's our menu. You can see the title proudly displays Hello World, 
And if we click the Start button, it loads up DM Deck. Now, obviously, this is a pretty simple menu implementation, and there's a lot more that you could do. One of the great things about this approach is that very little, if any, action script needs to be written. Most of your heavy lifting can be done in Unreal Script. Thanks again for watching another exciting tutorial. I'm Matthew Doyle for Scaleform, signing off.